Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Sony PCM A10 high resolution audio player which I have it right here. Now if you're looking at uh, this audio player which is my old audio player uh, this is Sony UX560 and this still works. Uh, the reason I'm upgrading to a high resolution audio player because uh, I'm doing some uh, or I'm trying out some uh, ambient noise videos and I wanted to uh, upgrade my audio quality so I wanted to you know uh, give it a try I had uh, options to purchase uh, zoom h5 uh, or uh, Tascam uh, DR100 MK3 which are also high resolution audio players but uh, the reason I went with Sony because uh, you know this is very uh, lightweight and uh, this is also very travel friend friendly because if you're looking at Tascam or Zoom, uh, then they are about one pound or even close to two pound. Uh, comparing uh, that, this is very lightweight and small and handy. So this makes uh, more sense to travel with this one. Now, this uh, audio recorder US560 still works and it produces very good sound quality, but uh, this is not high resolution. So you're getting a 44 one kilohertz at 16 bits, uh, which is uh, you know CD quality sound or you know lower than city quality which would be mp3 quality but uh, this one produces much higher quality so for example uh, you're looking at uh, 96 uh, kilohertz at uh, 24 bits which is much higher than uh, 44.1 at 16 so for that reason i decided to you know uh, upgrade my audio quality to uh, the sony pcm a10 and definitely is going to make a difference for the um, ambient videos i'm uh, doing uh, which is a very recent you know addition to my channel so today i'm going to take a look at it and then you know i'll do uh, some testing uh, once i you know go through the unboxing and after that i'll attach uh, a few sample clips uh, to the audio so you can uh, know that you know how good or bad is the audio quality so let's start with the unboxing first uh, but before that uh, let me just uh, give you some specs which is right here so 96 kilohertz at uh, 24 bits and uh, built-in memory 16 gig but you can attach uh, more memory uh, with the micro sd card and then it has usb uh, port or usb uh, direct which you can use to you know uh, plug it into your computer to change uh, or to transfer the files so you don't have to like you know go through removing micro sd or anything and then uh, it, you can charge through usb and then uh, stereo noise and high resolution audio and then uh, on this side i see there's rehearsal function scene select clear voice battery live for recording uh, approximately 24 hours battery uh, so another disadvantage with the task cam or zoom is that you have to keep buying battery and batteries but with this one you don't need that because it has a built-in you know a battery and you can just charge it so on this side of the box we see that uh, fine tuned recordings with adjustable microphone so you can uh, actually uh, change the position of the microphones which is x y right here and then you can move it to uh, kind of angular directions which would be better for uh, ambient uh, recording and then it has actually even an app where uh, you can connect uh, your uh, device to the app and then you can you know uh, maintain or see how the recording is going so now let's just you know quickly open the box so the box is empty right here and i'll just you know put it aside so this is comes inside the box and let me just remove this here and looks like they added a nice you know case to hold it which is a very good addition uh, i didn't have anything with my other audio recorder and uh, there's a brochure and then we have some manuals right here so it looks like you know they added uh, one in i'm not sure this is chinese or japanese but they added uh, some you know instruction manuals uh, which would be very good to take a look at and then we have here uh, let's take a look so this looks like something i'm not sure which language but it looks like a like you know a warranty card or something but unfortunately this is in a uh, in japanese or chinese 
so I'll just you know leave it here and then uh, here we have uh, the actual audio recorder so I'll just uh, put it here and this box is empty and looks like they attached a on the screen but this is made of uh, foam so this is not like you know made of a dead cat uh, I would rather use a separate uh, wind screen uh, something like uh, this one which I bought uh, so but you know still this is a nice addition that they included this with the audio player and now here we have uh, the actual audio player so I'm going to just you know remove this from the wrapper and so here is sony pcm a10 audio recorder so here how it looks so the first thing you're going to notice that you know this looks very high quality uh, it, it cost about two to three hundred dollars depending on where or when you buy but you know when you take it in your hand you can see right away that this is a quality product and although it's made of plastic but definitely this is a high quality plastic and it looks like you know it, it it shows that you know this is a quality or high-end product and then mics are on here and you can actually uh, you know uh, move them and depending on what you're looking for and then uh, here is the power button and then here's the micro SD slot and then we have the USB right here so you have to just slide it out to connect it to your computer and then here we have a rehears rehearsal switch and here is the volume button and then here is the microphone uh, output and here is the mic input so it has a lot of similarities with you know the old audio player which is right here but definitely it's like uh, this one is like a big brother of the old one so what i'm going to do i'll just you know go through uh, some of the settings and test it and uh, get some audio samples and then attach i'll attach it, uh, it to this video and i'll even compare uh, audio coming out of uh, this one and the old one uh, ux560 that will be the next part of the video hello everyone so i have had a few uh, weeks to use the sony pcm a10 audio recorder and i'm just going to give you some insight let me just show you the audio recording app this is a good addition because it just you know makes things much easier so you can actually download on your play store and then it just shows you that you know the recording level and you can set everything uh, from the app instead of going to the audio recorder uh, directly so for example uh, let me just take a look here so here you can see that you have access to all recording settings uh, for example the scene mode or scene select uh, and then here we have the built-in mic sensitivity so everything you can do from the phone instead of going here and then you can also adjust the gain let's say you're recording right now and you can see that you know it started to record and then you can actually uh, up the gain or recording level so for example it's right now at 27 and I can push it to 28 which you can see right now and then you can even increase it to higher uh, for example 28 and you can also make it lower so you can have access to everything and uh, if you know it's uh, going over the required level or if you know the uh, recording is get, getting ruined then you're going to see here that you know over so for example uh, from time to time you're going to see here over hello for example right now you can see that you know it shows over you know that means that you know you have to lower the uh, level so I'm going to push it to 27 and now you can see that you know it's not going uh, over anymore so that means that you know your recording or your audio level is not getting ruined and you can do the same thing from uh, the audio recorder itself which is from here so here you have to just like you know increase or decrease the level from here so a few things I'd like to show you let me just you know uh, go back here so this is the main screen and you can hear go to record and then you can 
go to Bluetooth and you can go to settings and if you go to settings then there are different you know settings and you can access those from the uh, mobile app as well so just one setting I'd like to show that you know I just set it up to uh, set limiter on and what it does that if you're recording ambient noise or outdoor noise or any kind of uh, you know sound and if there is a sound level up then it just limits you know your uh, sound and it doesn't ruin the whole recording so that's a very good feature and then there's the mic you know or uh, recording filter you can set up which I didn't so for example you can see that here uh, there's a low noise cut NCF and low cut these are to reduce wind noise or other ambient noise but I don't use them and then let's see if I can show you the scene select so this option scene select uh, it's not letting me show you now because I'm just in recording uh, which is you can see right here the recording mode here you can choose the quality of the you know audio you want so I have it at highest you know 96 by 24 but you can go lower if you'd like and then here we have the built-in mic sensitivity and which is right now manual and you can also go to auto control uh, gain or auto gain control so if you go to auto then uh, here is the option to uh, choose either voice or music but when you have manual then you have more access to you know control uh, the gain manually so and there are a few other options you can have uh, like you know uh, based on your own preferences so that's why I like manual and then that's all I can show you from here and then uh, let's take a look here and then uh, in order to connect to the Bluetooth device you have to just go to Bluetooth and then you have to just go to audio device and then here you have to just go to connect and add device pairing uh, if you're you know connecting it for the first time so that way it will connect and then once you have set up then you have to just like you know go to connect for next time okay let's go back and then here they recorded files and there's music uh, I have inserted an SD card in here although you know this comes with 16 uh, gigabyte of memory but I already insert another separate card which is right here uh, due to the fact that you know I record ambient noise and sometimes it just get gets you know over uh, loaded and I don't have enough space in the built-in me built memory card so for that reason I'm uh, I added a separate SD card and you have to just change the preference to remove your recording from uh, phone uh, phone from audio recorders built-in uh, card to the SD card once you know it's full otherwise it's not going to record and it's just going to stop so I'm going to show you some sample sounds from both of these two so keep in mind that this is almost $300 uh, Canadian uh, audio recorder and this is a $100 uh, audio recorder however I'm gonna have to say that this also you know produces very good quality audio so what I do, I only use this audio recorder when I need to put it on the quarter mount because it has the mount on the back, which this one doesn't. And then when I need to, you know, uh, record ambient noise, uh, I do have some ambient noise or white noise videos on my channel, which are like you know one hour to four hours, and I use that, uh, use this recorder. Uh, a10 for that purposes but for general purposes for recording like in you know, a voice or anything I would just use this one because surprisingly this one has very good quality as well and even I noticed that you know whenever I'm recording voice I prefer this one rather than this one because it just like you know, sometimes give me some like you know uh, similar qualities uh, voice recording so I just want to don't want to go through all these and this is just like you know I set it up to auto so I just you know press and record so for that reason you know I use this one um, for general purposes and this one only for like you know ambient sound noise or when I'm uh, you know uh, using my uh, camera or anything and where I need an additional audio recorder then I use this one because it has the mount which uh, this one doesn't so listen to uh, both uh, sounds from both of these devices and you may not even you know hear the differences if you're just like you know listening through your uh, f uh, cell phone or uh, regular TV uh, but in order to hear the quality or the difference you need to you know hear through a microphone or headphone 
then I'm sorry, through a headphone, then you'll definitely see the high you know, resolution audio quality, which comes out of this one. And if you'd like to sample even more audio, then you can just you know listen to the ambient noise videos, which I'm going to have uh, a few links in the description box below. The question you may be asking whether you should upgrade from this or a general purpose audio recorder like Sony, which are usually like in you know, 100, 120 to this, which is about uh, close to $300 or not. So here's my take. If you're doing general, uh, like you know, YouTube recording or just general purpose uh, blogging, then I think this is good enough uh, because even myself, I'm using this one a lot more than this one uh, because of the like you know ease of use and this is very easy to use in auto mode. And this one, you know, I have to set it up manually and uh, watch for uh, audio level if I'm doing it manual tra setting, but. Uh, this one you cannot it doesn't have the option to set up you know uh, manually everything is auto but that's what I like so you don't have to actually you know upgrade it to uh, this one the for general purpose uh, you can still use this one and I get like you know a very good quality out of this one but I only use this one when I'm doing ambient noise recording or white noise uh, recording which are uh, very important for you know the audio quality and I would like to have the best audio quality possible uh, for ambient noise recording and for that for those recordings or for those videos I use uh, the more expensive one which is the Sony uh, PCM A10 but for everything else I use this one so I'm happy with the product uh, the build quality is very good and I have a feeling that you know uh, this is going to last a long time just like this one uh, I don't actually remember how many years I've been using it but I would say like three four years and I took this to many countries many places and it's still it's working and I have a feeling that this is going to last uh, like the same way like this one and uh, the another benefit this one is that it's a very small and portable so you can do like you know you can have a high resolution audio recorder in such a small package or such a compact size that I doubt that you're going to get this small size anywhere else uh, which is uh, you know a high resolution audio recorder and even uh, this like you know uh, non not too expensive uh, close to three hundred dollars although you can say that this is expensive but you know if you compare with other high resolution audio recorder then you're going to be paying like more than uh, three hundred for a high res resolution audio recorder if you're buying from other manufacturers so overall Definitely, I'm happy with uh, this purchase and if you listen to the recording of this, especially for the ambient noise videos, then you can tell the d difference in quality right away and definitely, you know, high resolution audio is better for from just general resolution audio when you need to have that type of, you know, higher quality audio, for example, white noise video or audio. Uh, for uh, or other purpose where audio is very important but for in general like you know YouTube video or tutorial video or everything else I think this is just fine so this is not an affiliated or paid review I didn't take money from anyone I do not provide any affiliated link so that way you'll always guess, get honest and unbiased opinion so thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment and uh, tell me how you like, you know, either one of these or if you are going to, you know, if you have been using this, then what is your experience or if you like or don't like. And uh, there will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.
hello are you testing one two three this is a test this is a test hello sony audio recorder testing one two three this is a test this is a test hello hello audio testing one two three one two three thank you hello audio testing one two three this is a test this is a test hello sony audio recorder testing one two three this is a test this is a test hello hello Audio testing one two three one two three. Thank you.